What's up, everybody? I hope that this video finds you well and in excellent spirits. My name is Mel, and welcome to my channel, Divine Feminine Works. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today, we are doing the love readings by element. So that's by fire signs, earth signs, air signs, and water signs. Let's see what spirit has for you this month. Let's get into it. All right, Earth signs, what's going on? This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. My beautiful Earth signs, what's going on? So tell me, how have your relationships been, honestly? With everything that's going on, have they been crazy? Like, you know, like everything that's out in the world right now? Or, you know, have they been really quiet? Like, you know, if you're still kind of quarantining, has your love life been quarantining as well? Let me know. Comment below and let me know how your relationships have been so far and for this month. But let's get into it and see what messages Spirit has for us on the relationship front for August 2020. All right, this is for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What messages does Spirit have for us, as I am a Virgo? <laughs> what messages does Spirit have for us for August 2020? got one so far let's get two more here just pick these two all right so first ooh, we've got solitude all right i just did water signs and they got the same card so yeah a lot of you might be experiencing a lot of quietness on the relationship front right now but let's look into this further and see if that's true all right we've got follow your heart And we've got confusion. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got dream come true. This is like wishing on a star. And I love that the number is eight. All right. So earth signs. A lot of you may be hermiting right now y'all may be in hermit mode especially my virgos out there um again like i said to water signs solitude is not a bad thing there's a, a very big difference between solitude and loneliness solitude is enjoying your own company you may be alone but you're not feeling lonely depressed and some of those negative emotions that come with being by yourself whereas loneliness you're really focusing on the absence of someone or something i feel like for you guys you are taking a much needed break this solitude is definitely beneficial to you i feel like it's helping to dispel some of this confusion I love the depiction of confusion on this card because it's just like, you know, back in the day when the TV signal would go out and this is all you'd see. I feel like you're taking this time of solitude to actually get into focus, right? We're getting away from this confusion. And in this time of getting into focus, you are definitely following your heart. You're really examining what makes your heart happy. What are you passionate about? What your heart needs, what it wants. And that's allowing you to experience dreams coming true. It's only through this solitude and through this soul searching that you're, you're actually gonna be able to experience and have the love that you're looking for. So again, for those of you that are in a season of solitude, that are in a season of singleness, it's necessary and it's not a bad thing. A lot of people love to be in relationships for the sake of being in relationships. And I feel like social media plays a big part in this. It sort of advances this narrative that being together is great, being single is kind of whack, you're a loser if you're single or whatever. I find that a lot of people are moving away from that, which is great. But I also feel like some people are still stuck in that sort of old paradigm where being in a relationship takes precedence over everything. And it takes precedence over your own mental, spiritual, and sometimes physical health. It takes precedence over your passions, your desires, and what you really need to be emotionally fulfilled. 
And it's sort of this shell of an existence where, yeah, you've got someone, but you're not really happy. And I feel like this is the season for you earth signs where you are figuring out what makes you happy. And you can only do that in a state of solitude. So again, it's a great thing and it's a great time for you. I feel like if you look at this, the number on this, you can see that is 32, which is five. Five is all about change. Change, movement, things shifting. And of course, you have to be, you know, you have to be seriously checked out if you don't realize that we are going through a major shift right now as a collective. And again, this shift is, this doesn't just apply to relationships. This is how a lot of people are feeling generally about life, period. Because things are changing so much. There's so much going on. There's so much that's being unearthed. There's so much that's being unveiled. That's leaving us in a state of confusion. But spirit wants you to know that you need to follow your heart. And I feel like just like you see this highway sign right here, I feel like spirit is going to give you highway signs, <laughs> real serious big signs to show you what you really want and what you really need and that you need to go in that direction. That's definitely what's going on for this month. I'm pretty sure it's going to go. I'm getting the sense that this isn't just a, okay, this is what's happening within the next 30 days. I feel like this is something that's going, this is going to be an ongoing theme for a little while because it's super important. Like there's so much abundance and prosperity that's available to, available to us on all fronts, not just money wise, not just wealth wise, but definitely relationship wise too. But it's like you got to do your homework before you get to play and enjoy those rewards. And part of that homework is being by yourself. It's being by yourself. It's knowing what you like, what you don't like, what you're going to tolerate, what you're not going to tolerate. What makes your heart happy? What breaks your heart? You've got to know all of those things on a very deep and personal level before you can invite someone else in to enjoy those things with you and to partake in those things in your life. And that's what this time is all about. Because remember, this time is not just a punishment either. Like dreams do come true. It is not some myth that you can have a wonderful, fulfilling and healthy relationship. That's reality. If that's your dream, it is definitely coming true. But part of that also is setting boundaries. I'm going to say that again. Part of that too is setting boundaries. Like, for real, for real. Setting boundaries is part of a healthy relationship within yourself and with others. And you need to be in solitude right now in order to reset, recalibrate, figure out what you want and go towards it. All right, let's get further into this and see what else we got here. All right, we've got the Prince of Swords. We've got the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> we've got Justice. Mm. We've got the Six of Wands. We've got the Hierophant. Let's get one more here. This is for Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And we've got the Tower. And at the bottom of the deck, nice, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. These cards are super big and long, so it's hard for me to even get them in the camera space. And to hold them. <laughs> I've got like super small hands if you haven't noticed already. All right, earth signs. So a lot of you have had, how do I put this? When it comes to the idea of marriage and union, a lot of you are 
disillusioned with it. A lot of you approach the issue of marriage and union, not necessarily marriage, but committed relationships, let's say, from a place of if you notice this card if you look at the image of this card it's someone who's at like the doctor's office and they've got an x-ray in front of them and it's like they're sick they're sick they're bruised they're hurt and that's the energy I'm getting with respect to how you view committed relationships. I feel like at your very core, you really want a committed relationship, but it's not manifesting in your life or you've experienced such hurt and pain from it that it's like you've become just disillusioned with the whole idea. I, I sense that some of you are just like, I don't want to get married or marriage isn't for me, or marriage is just a piece of paper. But I feel like in your heart, you think otherwise, you feel otherwise. A lot of you do wanna be committed. You just have this, you worry about it. If you notice at the bottom of this card, it, it has worry. You're worried about it, but you, you come from a place, when it comes to manifesting it in your life, you can't manifest it because you have this, you're damaged in a sense when it comes to that. I'm just going to keep it real because that's what I'm hearing. You're damaged, you're hurt. You have a very lack mentality when it comes to committed relationships. And I feel like you have a lot of confusion with it as well because the way things are going in society, you're like, yo, I really can't have it. But what did I say before? dreams come true don't don't be afraid to wish upon a star if that's what your heart really wants don't deny that to yourself you can have a good marriage a lot of people have horror stories when it comes to marriage because they listen to other people a lot of married people out there are unhappy real talk and they actually discourage a lot of people from getting married because they feel like because their marriage isn't good or they've been disillusioned when it comes to marriage, they feel like they it's like their job to warn people of that. And while that is a possibility, you can have a really good marriage, but it takes work on both people's parts and not just working in the relationship, working on yourself. Like I said before, this time of solitude is to recalibrate, right? And it's a time to really understand what your heart desires are and to go in that direction. And a lot of you desire marriage. We have the Hierophant and justice. It's like, this is like civil marriage, religious marriage. Like y'all are marriage minded right now, but y'all are just afraid. Y'all are really afraid to open your heart to it or even to open your mind to it. But I also feel like with the presence of the tower here, I feel like it's, I'm hearing rebellious, like almost like this sudden kind of energy because the tower energy is ruled by Uranus and Uranus is all about individuality. It's about rebelliousness. It's also about things happening very quickly, like out of nowhere. And I feel like for some of you that I feel like for some of you, if you follow your heart and marriage is what your heart desires, you can have that very quickly, very, very quickly, especially with the presence of the six of wands. That's the victory card. That can definitely happen for you. For others of you, some of you are going through a divorce. Some of you were in a marriage that was not fulfilling to your needs and to your heart's desires, and you are quickly getting out of it. If you're not quickly getting out of it, for some of you, I feel like there is going to be some sort of event or happening that's just going to break down your marriage completely. I think that some of you 
have done some research on your spouse and you don't like what you're seeing. You may have been snooping around, hacking into their emails, you know, being like a private eye. And you came across some shit that just rocked your world. And now you are getting a divorce quick, fast, and in a hurry. That is definitely for some of you. Definitely for some of you. For others of you, I feel like you can definitely find love online. Like, look at this guy. He is just really on his computer. He is focused. This card is called the Hacker. But this is really the Knight of Swords. For some of you, it could be with an air sign, particularly a Libra. I see Taurus out here. There's some Aquarius energy here. So y'all could really, this could really be with an air sign. But for some of you, I'm getting like finding love online or you're just like trying to take that step into online dating. I think that some of you are not confused by it, but some of you are just like not really into it. But it's like your heart is really guiding you in that direction. If that's where you feel pulled, follow it. Definitely follow it. Yeah, some of you are worried like, and I have to say, I'm a Virgo and online dating is not my thing. I tried it. I really didn't like it. And so I definitely resonate with that part of the reading. But I also feel like for some of you, y'all are being pulled in that direction. And if you are, follow that impulse. Follow your heart. As long as your heart is in it, it's not going to steer you wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you are looking for love online. Others of you are doing some snooping online and realizing that your spouse is, I'm hearing off the rails, <laughs> has really gone off the rails. And some of y'all are getting a divorce quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like, and you're just like, y'all need to, I need to get out of here. <laughs> like some of you are really like moving, leaving the scene real quick. Because whatever you're finding out, you're really not liking. You're really not liking. It, it almost makes you sick, the information that you're finding out. And ultimately, though, this is a new opportunity for you. This ending that you may be experiencing in a committed relationship or marriage, it's really an opportunity for you to get into a season of solitude and to learn to follow your heart. Because whatever marriage you were in, if it's crumbling right now, it's for a very good reason. And I feel like love was not in that marriage or that committed relationship. It was devoid of love. It was devoid of anything that really, it was devoid of anything that really made your heart sing, that made your heart happy. And now you have the opportunity for it. And again, there are others of you that marriage is really what you want. And don't be afraid to say that. The Prince of Swords is also someone who communicates well. If that's what you want, say it. Especially if you're starting dating again, you've been in a season of solitude and now you're starting to redate. You have to communicate what your heart wants. People are not mind readers, at least not everyone. And without knowing what you, if you don't know what you want, you can't convey that to someone else. So your first job is to figure out what you want, what your heart wants. Your second job is to convey that to whoever you're seeing, you're dating or whatever. And I, I'm feeling for a lot of you, it's marriage. It's marriage that you want, but you're afraid. Rightly so. I mean, it's a big deal. It's not just, you know, a little thing. Marriage is a big deal. Some of you may have had bad experiences in the past. But again, the overall message here is follow your heart. It won't steer you wrong. All right, let's get some more cards on here. Let's get one on the hacker. Yeah, we've got the queen of pentacles. So y'all are showing up here. Y'all are doing some investigating. 
Could be online dating, could be investigating who you're with, but whatever it is, I see y'all fingers are busy, real busy, <laughs> finding out information and you will find out some shit. You're looking for shit, you're going to find it, most definitely. Or some of y'all are just really online, like putting yourself out there, talking to people. Either or. All right, let's get one on worry. Mm, we've got the two of cups. Some of you are worried about a relationship. Like I said, if you're married, you definitely have worry. You definitely have... There's a fracture there in that relationship. For those of you that are not in a relationship, fractures from the past have you worried about future relationships. But again... What's the advice? Follow your heart. Let's get one on justice here. We've got the eight of pentacles. So this is definitely Virgo. This is sun in Virgo. Yeah, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra. Others of you are just Focusing on making your relationships equitable and fair. Others of you are really focused on manifesting a spouse, like I said before. Either way, y'all are putting in that work, which is a good thing. But always remember that relationships should be reciprocal. I water you, you water me, we grow together. And that's the energy. And that's the vantage point that you're seeing things from. I definitely sense that. You're seeing things from an angle of it's got to be give and take for both of us. And you're working towards that. Let's get one on victory. Okay, we've got the page of wands. All right, cool. So yeah, it's like... I feel like you guys are taking action steps. For those of you who are single, who've been in a season of solitude, I see that this month a lot of you are taking action steps towards putting yourself out there. Like you're taking those first few steps. And for a lot of you, that's online. And that makes sense because a lot of us are still kind of quarantining. People are still kind of being cautious. So you might not be just out there going out and putting yourself out there. You may be putting yourself out there online, which is good. But I see that some of you are actually taking those action steps. So a lot of you are coming out of this season of solitude and ready to, you're single and ready to mingle, which is good. Let's get one on the Hierophant. Yeah, we've got the King of Cups. The King of Cups is all about commitment, relationships. A lot of you are really commitment minded with the King of Cups here and the Two of Cups. With these marriage cards, a lot of you, your heart is desiring marriage. That's it. <laughs> Let's get one on the tower. Let's get one on the tower. That's too many. <laughs> Let's get one on the tower. We've got the eight of cups. So yeah, there are some of you, and I feel like it's quite a few of you who are walking away from a marriage. You've done the research on this person. You, you definitely found some shit and it's time to leave it alone. Because again, and at the bottom of, this, of the deck is the Ace of Swords. So it's all about truth. It's all about truth. Having a new beginning in truth, finding out the truth, having clarity. A lot of you are having clarity on who you're really married to. And this relationship has irretrievably broken down. And you're ready to call it quits. Again, which is not a bad thing. Because now you can follow your heart. Like I said, a lot of you are in some situations. You're in some relationships, committed or married or whatever. It's not pleasing to your heart. Whatever isn't working, it's time to let it go so that you can actually find what is pleasing to you. So you can wish upon a star and have that wish come true because dreams really do come true if you want them to. If you want them to. All right, let's get some astrology cards on here. 
Ah, we've got Taurus. Taurus, this is definitely resonating with you. I've definitely seen Taurus and Virgo out here. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Let's get another one here. Square challenge. So this is an astrological aspect. It's a harsh aspect. So there's tensions. Frustrates, demands, struggles. Those of you that are in committed relationships, this is the kind of energy that you're experiencing. This tense, harsh. You're hurt. It literally says hurt here. Just like this card. This is what you're experiencing. Let's get one more here. That's too many. Oh, yeah, we got 11th house which is goals and ambitions, it's wishes coming true. Although you may be experiencing this kind of energy right now, this harsh energy, wishes do come true. Wishes do come true. Dreams do come true. Again, for those of you that want to be married and you're kind of like, I've either been through, you're either getting out of a marriage right now there is light at the end of the tunnel and you don't have to be afraid because you've been wounded in a relationship before doesn't mean that you're always going to be wounded. You can have a wonderful marriage, even if you're in a shitty one right now. It's possible. Don't close yourself off to that possibility. All right, let's get one last message to close out the reading. Spirit, all right. Let's see. Serendipity. I love this card. And what number is this? This is 18, which boils down to a nine. Again, there is a season of solitude that you need to go through, whether you're coming out of one right now or you're about to go into one. Serendipity is all about happenstance. It's about leaving room for spirit to surprise you. Like I said, this tower energy, this is quick moving energy, quick, fast and in a hurry. When you let spirit in, amazing things can happen. And things can happen so quickly. If you want to be in a marriage, you can get in a marriage real quick. If you want to get out of one, you can get out of one really quickly as well, as long as you let spirit in and help you. As long as you let spirit in and help you, amazing things can happen. All right, Earth Signs, that's what I've got for you on the relationship front for August 2020. I hope that you were able to get at least one message from this reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Divine Feminine Works. Every week I do a series called The Week Ahead, which is just a quick and dirty tarot read on the energies for that upcoming week. So don't forget to follow me there. As always, my readings and messages are a labor of love and they come straight from the bottom of my heart. If you feel so inclined and would like to buy me a coffee, that link is in the description box as well. Earth Science, as always, it's a privilege to read for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.